Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ellie, and I'm from the Climate Hackers um, group. Today, we are researching on how technology can be used to help climate justice. If you know you have a technology, raise your hand. So our first speaker from our group is Amelia. Okay. So first, I'm going to speak about robotics. There's this place in Kibra um, where they collect litter using a robot. How cool is that? Imagine if we taught young children from a young, young age to do that type of thing. How would our world become? Next, teaching computer studies. You know, when, when you teach a child computer studies, they can do a lot of stuff. Because you know, a child has a big, big imagination and has a lot of creativity. Imagine the games they will make, the programs they will make, the websites, the innovations they will make. And it could really, really impact us as a world. Also, teaching about internet and social media. This helps children to promote themselves. Because you know, if you go in informal settlements, like let's say Madare or Kibra, you'll see people there who are doing a lot of work, but they are not promoting themselves. So, so now people from, let's say, America, or even here in Kenya, people who can help them, they don't know. It will also help children to learn about environmental issues and its solutions. It will also help them to talk to influential people who can help them fund their projects. Just before I finish, you've heard um, some other speakers saying that we love our country, yes, but it's not really keeping promises. Uh, <laughs> so now, I feel like us as a country, me as an individual, I'll keep my promise. Just go and plant that one tree. And if it is too hard, go and switch off your lights. Um, pick, up, pick up one piece of litter. That will help. Thank you. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about the use of AI. But because of time, I'm going to say only two points. AI gives us information about climate change and can simplify hard words into simple words where children can understand and can also answer questions on climate change. AI can teach practices that promote on climate change even though it's not in a physical state. In case you don't know what AI means, it's artificial intelligence. Okay? I'll give it to the next um, so, last but not least, it's my turn to speak, and I'm speaking about um, computers, phones, and all those technologies <laughs> and with climate change. So they can help spread things faster, so you can sh show what you're doing and what you've learned about climate change way faster than s writing it down, which takes like so many hours, and then put it inside the letter box and wait for it to go to the person you're sending it to.